For the past few years, I've been trying to learn French. I've used a range of apps, studied a dictionary, learned the grammar, the lot, but still, I can't speak French. Why is it that when I went to France for a week, I felt my confidence in the language skyrocket? Well, immersion in the language is probably why. I was surrounded by French, so I learned French better. What if this were possible with maths? Imagine traveling to a world where everyone only spoke in maths. Being surrounded with the language and culture of the place means that you'll learn maths much faster than someone studying in some boring classroom. You're immersed in maths. Now, maths land might sound too good to be true, and <laughs> probably is, uh, but with an approach called project-based learning, teachers can get close to sending their students on a trip there. In project-based learning, instead of being spoon-fed information, groups of students are given a massive, real-world task which they work on for an extended period of time. Through working on this task, they understand how to use different resources and tools related to the subject being taught, as well as being driven to understand the core ideas and principles behind a subject. About four years ago, I was part of a pilot when my school at the time tried out project-based learning. My team's task was to design a school from scratch. Now, this might seem excessive for a team of 12-year-olds, but it was quite possibly the most useful learning I have ever done. Budgeting, planning, project management, research, presenta presentations, all these real-world problems we had to constantly work through in time for a deadline. And we were almost completely independent the whole time. One thing I loved about this project is I had a good reason for learning things. I didn't just have to memorize properties of different timbers for a GCSE exam. I had to learn them so I would know which ones to use for the floors of my classroom. I didn't just have to learn how to use Excel because my IT teacher told me to. I had to learn it so that I would know, so that I could keep track of my imaginary school's budget. Another thing I liked about this project is that I was in a group of people I didn't really know. Now this gave me experience in collaborating with people outside of my comfort circle, a skill which is sought after in today's globalized environment. Oh, and like I said, we were almost completely independent. We had a teacher helping out, but they didn't hold our hand the whole way through. We had to plan our time and manage our deadlines so that we hit the final deadline. Uh, giving us this independence also made us want to go above and beyond to show our true potential, as well as giving us experience in real-world time management. So I want to go on at a bit of a tangent to explain why project-based learning might be better than the status quo. So right now, the standard teaching technique emphasizes two things, repetition and reinforcement, which is basically practice and tests. Modern philosophers and educational pioneers are saying that students best learn when they build knowledge for themselves, when they use their experiences with the world to create new knowledge. This approach is called constructivism and has been proven to be a much more effective way of learning new things. Instead of just being told how the world works, you find out for yourself. Now, the main idea behind project-based learning and other alternative teaching strategies is to stop focus on what is being taught and to stop focus on what is being learned. Project-based learning has been proven to be more effective, more engaging, and more fun for students as well as for the teachers than conventional teaching, than conventional teaching techniques. But let's think practically for a moment. Will anyone use this technique? After all, if you don't do well in your exams, then finding a job to show off all the skills you've learned through project-based learning might be a, dif a bit difficult, right? It seems like not revising for the exam means that you'll do worse in the exam, right? Wrong. Several studies have shown that students who learn through project-based learning achieve significantly better results than those who learn through a standard teaching technique. Those same studies also show that students are more engaged in lessons and have a better attitude towards learning. Now, to put it simply, students do better in exams when they like the lessons more. So, let's face it, schools probably won't use this technique. Schools have barely changed for 100 years. So, what can you do? Well, as a teacher, try to use project-based learning in your own lessons. There are plenty of pre-made lesson plans you can use online. And as a student, try to use project-based learning for yourself. Set yourself that extra challenge and see how much more you'll achieve because everyone deserves a chance to visit Mathsland.